good morning to all of you. So it gives me immense pleasure to be part of this uh, highly progressive uh, conference, which is uh, taking place in a very um, beautiful manner. Uh, I'm listening to the uh, speeches of eminent uh, personalities uh, like the Tenmodi Madam, Madam uh, Dr. Cheng, uh, Dr. Vikraman sir from Manga University. All the stalwarts have given their uh, uh, excellent uh, expressive points in, in their own style and manner. And the students are, uh, hope the students are highly enlightened with the contributions made by all um, experts from field of management. Um, I, right now, uh, so much impressed by, by the way it has been designed and organized, uh, for which I congratulate our chairman, Dr. Uh, Engineer C. Sukumaran, sir, and, um, chief guest of the day, Dane Mori, madam, and uh, uh, Dr. Sundar, uh, sir, from uh, Aditya School of Business Management, uh, Dr. Visakhamurthy, sir, um, and all other dignitaries and delegates from foreign countries who are part of this conference and making this conference a great grand success. Um, my, my aspect, or I, I want to deliver my um, key points on certain aspects, particularly the Indian unicorn landscape is what I would like to um, emphasize on uh, since the conference is on education innovation management aspects i feel this particular um, area the unicorn landscape which is part of startup ecosystem of uh, the globe and the uh, unicorn landscape specifically in india so what is happening in startup landscape a startup ecosystem and unicorn landscape of India is what I would like to deliver to today's uh, participants. So with this preamble, I, I, I'm here to say that Indian unicorn landscape, which is part of startup ecosystem, is growing exponentially. As you all know, right now, we are having 69,000 DPIIT recognized startup companies across 647 districts of this country, this great country. You all know India was having very, very uh, um, uh, least or low representation in innovative index some uh, 10 years before, a decade before. But on understanding and realizing the lacuna which we we were uh, having in this particular focus area, Indian government consolidated the resources and started working on giving a lot of inputs and uh, support mechanisms for creating innovative ecosystems so that there will be more startups and subsequently there will be more uh, growth in uh, economy, uh, also employment opportunities for the young generation of this country. So with this basic uh, thought, when more and more emphasis is given in the form of startup policies, um, Council of uh, Innovations uh, have been started in various places. Startup uh, um, incubations have been started. Funding started flowing in, in this particular area. And with all these support systems mechanisms from our central government and state government, we started marching towards success stories. We, we started creating a lot of success stories. See, now the, the um, aspect is we are second best in innovation quality. Can we believe this? Within 10 years, we have achieved tremendous improvement, exp exponential uh, achievement we, we reached. We are now second best in innovative quality with the top positions in the quality of scientific publications. So that is the beauty of it. And as far as unicorns are concerned, top five profitable unicorns are Jogo. You are much aware of this particular popular unicorn brand, Jogo. And uh, Bambus, uh, Mr. Bambu Srinivasan is the one who uh, is 
the top official, the CEO of Jogo Corporation, and that has created employment opportunities to thousands of young minds in this country. Similarly, Info Edge, Zerida, Five Star, and Dream Eleven are the five great unicorn companies that that are showing profitable, progressive businesses, impactful businesses in this country. Um, going into some more details of uh, startups and unicorns, startups of India, startups uh, in India value uh, to maximum of 334 billion. All the unicorns put together has a value of 334 billion. So what is unicorn? You may question me. My dear students, you are listening to me. You may question me, what is unicorn ultimately? So it is a kind of startup which is having dollar one billion and more investments uh, and uh, having some innovative products that, that has taken a market share market share from the existing market share. So this is what we call as unicorn. I tell you, recently, India's 100, 100 uni, unicorn, 100 unicorn have been launched. Neo Bank is the 100th unicorn launched by India. And we say, we proudly, we can say that every one out of 10 unicorn which is being uh, launched in this world is from India. And you also should know Bangalore is the capital of unicorns and startups in India, followed by New Delhi. So these are all the developments which are happening around us. See, it is like, you know, we are, we are known for creating corporates and we started creating our own corporates or corporates from MNCs. And now of late, to give uh, employment opportunities, to make our own creative, innovative thoughts to flourish, we started giving focus on startups and unicorns. So that is, that, that is the beauty of unicorns and startups. But out of all these 100 unicorns, if you put a question, how many are making profits, the, the, it, it gain, it, 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 that invites uh, some kind of concern. Only 18 out of the total 100 unicorns launched are making profit, but others are in the progressive path of making profits in short period of time. It is taking at least six months for a unicorn to announce itself as a unicorn. And it may also take 26 long years. When you take some of the unicorns, they worked and worked and tried uh, toiled like anything for 20 years altogether to pursue or make themselves as a unicorn, to make it itself as $1 billion startup company. It takes 20 years for them. So the there is a lengthy story, there is a short story. So when you look at uh, the successful and shortest unicorn, there is one unicorn in this uh, uh, world, you know, that has come from Asia. The shortest time they have taken to announce themselves as unicorn, one billion uh, dollar company. So that, that is the kind of success story that is being created as far as unicorns are concerned. As far as innovative India is concerned, it is not uh, limited to some, uh, few com companies or few sectors. Innovativeness cut across all the uh, sectors. And some of the sectors are pioneering. Say for example, IT. IT sector has got highest number of innovative uh, products. And in recent times, 2019, 20, 21, 22 are uh, facing lots of innovative products from IT sector. So that is why we call the growth in uh, innovative uh, quotient, the growth in startup companies is going exponential. That is why we say this, this growing expon exponential. That way in these few years, it is growing like anything. So what is, uh, what is uh, catchy or attractive aspects is, it is like nine times um, in, in case of number of uh, innovations, you know, if you take out in these four years, it is nine times than the, the previous four year. Seven times the increase in total funding for these uh, uh, kinds of innovative startup companies. 
And similarly, seven times the incubate number of incubators have gone or raised in numbers. Seven times rise in number is seen. So what, what is coming to the reference is startups help in developing innovative solutions, point number one. And number two is it is contributing complementarily for large scale employment opportunities. So as I said, 100 unicorns in India and worth of dollar 332 billion is the biggest achievement India has seen in recent times. So I, I repeat uh, the definition for unicorn once again, so that young minds will capture it. Uh, because this is the magic word which is going around across India among all leading corporates. Unicorn is a term used in the venture capital industry to describe a privately held, a privately held startup company with a value of over 1 billion so this is what you, you should remember when you think about unicorn. So when, when you look at Joho Corporation, you can, you, can, you can take a long breath because it is doing wonders among, among youth population. So since pandemic, since the time of pandemic, I would say, um, work from home culture got created and that uh, um, actually accelerated digital transformation landscape that accelerated the digital transformation possibilities. <clears throat> digital payment system, um, the large smartphone user base and digital first business models. These three are what has um, seen or what has come up in recent times in big way. I repeat, digital payment system, large, large base, large base um, among the smartphone users, digital first business models are the three aspects that is ruling this present world. So that is where the investments are happening. And that is where attraction for investments from the venture capitalists or angel funders are also happening. So besides fintech, e-commerce, e grocery, SAA, yes, SaaS, and marketplace players. So these are all uh, the big banks or a big base which are getting created and getting expanded time to time. Besides all this, India is home for, as I said, 100 unicorn startup companies. And uh, that is a slogan um, uttered throughout 2021. It is like, uh, it's rising unicorn is the slogan which India started up uttering uh, during 2021. So that unicorns are getting patted unicorns get attention and unicorns will be celebrated. So this is the kind of uh, landscape which we are actually uh, foreseeing and uh, even right now we are, we are experiencing. It is taking, as I said, more time for some of the unicorns to make itself as unicorn because we are, we are yet to fine tune, we are yet to enrich our financial system which supports the development of unicorn. Um, as you all know, um, Megla is a band, brand, Asian brand, which has become fastest uh, making unicorn in Asia. As I said earlier, Asia contributed the fastest making unicorn. So you can see that there is genetical embrace which is already existing in Asia, particularly in India, as far as innovative climate and culture is concerned. So it is duty of every institution to look at this developing landscape, aggressive developments that are happening in these aspects and see that creativity becomes part of your teaching system. Because when we look at the syllabi which we have coined for every subject, it is more of unitone rather than 
uh, multi tone <coughs> so it is like student centric education is much needed students are supposed to give more freedom for their thoughts what is expected is freedom for their thoughts maybe a guided thought process would help them much in getting their thoughts expressed in different platforms so that in future their originality innovativeness will create value for their own life so that is the idea behind having these aspects in in, in our curriculum and all those so i i would like to expand certain things nbfc 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 some of the can yes sir no madam proceed madam see there are some other people some of the conservational um, industries mainstream industries cryptocurrency kind of developments d2c a kind of developments uh, cloud kitchens you would have heard of this and many more <coughs> all these aspects are offering some accelerations to unicorns to come up well to to have a better growth perspective for unicorns um, some of the unicorns had gone to the level of issuing ipos initial public offerings and uh, you you would have uh, seen in um, today's economic times um that that is a delhi very kind of uh, unicorn which has come out as one page advertisement i don't know how many of you captured this just today and yesterday and all delhi very you know i was really looking at what what a kind of um name that has been kept but that that is making you to take your one second time to look at it deeply see that is the success they have made <coughs> so when ipo issue um there are some successful companies unicorn companies that are much backed by ipo uh, offerings are zomato much heard by all of you nike that is a company called nike and policy bazaar is one more um, paytm everywhere every nook and corner even small shop owners even the vendors vegetable vendors who are coming in a mobile vegetable vending uh, cart are having paytms everyone for that case are much attuned to paytm so to that extent they are having their success story well built paytm and fresh works uh, as i said delhi very mobi uh, i i think mobi mobivic yes mobivic and car deco car deco <clears throat> these are all some of the successful unicorns that built their financial structure through ipo offerings so as i said one out of 10 unicorns globally globally is born from india and this has given a testament for vibrant startup ecosystem india has built built for itself so with all these details i i i am presenting to you every individual has got a creativity portion that has to be enriched everyone here has potential to become a startup company and if you have an aspiration to be an entrepreneur you can be an innovative innovative entrepreneur that adds value and that really talks for the requirements and needs of customers so you can look at the market and see where you can connect yourself to be an innovative entrepreneur so innovations can be two extremes it can be disruptive innovation or transformational innovation it is up to you so when you look at some of the innovative options what is much needed is research based innovations trans translational you may think some concept but when you research it out by having participation of different um disciplines or faculties it becomes trans 
translational research and innovations. Such innovations are really gaining attention of investors. So that is where you have to be very, very uh, focused. Gaining attention and bagging investments should be the uh, best to happen for, a, for an investor, for, for an innovator, I'm sorry, for an innovator. So an innovator should be that much um, you know, focused and should have aspirational attitude to make it as a striking innovation, a breakthrough innovation, like what happened in University of California some two decades before. When their students and faculty came out with one pharmaceutical product, when they were having real financial crisis to run the university, this one product helped them to come over again. You know, that was a turnaround. Such turnaround should happen everywhere in this country so that we can become self-sustained economy and every institute can announce themselves as self-sustained and could achieve sustainable growth in long term. So with all these inputs, I once again um, thank all the organizers for giving me such a wonderful opportunity to meet all the faculties and uh, the students community of Aditya School of Business and hope that this session have got some impact in your minds. And my request is go and go in search of startups and unicorns, get to know more about it. Try to relate my points with whatever you are reading in later stages. And if you could appreciate, appreciate that appreciation will certainly hit me psychologically and make me even more, um, in, you know, um, aspirate, aspirate and motivated. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, I don't have a good throat. I think I troubled it. But Maybe you made it really, you made it really a great I guess, session, madam. This is actually something out of the, 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 everyone, I think today we could see from, as you said, well said in the earlier time, all of us, in all of them in different directions, from Tenmuli, madam, to financial technology, Vikraman, sir, into another area, waste management. And we had Professor Chan from the other aspect, and you are from the Unicorn. And the good seed today, it's, it's actually seeded in, in, into the right platform. And going to, we are going to have more startups. I soon. expect, sir, I expect Aditya Business School should have at least one startup company in coming days. Thank With your you. blessings, yes.